where you've been, what you've done, and what you have done to you. You are the part of the journey that God knew you were going to be. So we all have desires. Take Mitchell Johnson, for example. Come, Mitchell Johnson. Mitchell has a desire, okay? And Mitchell's desire is to look like this. Woo! Now, Mitchell's always been the tall, skinny guy. He's always, you know, people are always telling him that he needs to eat a hamburger, get some protein, eat some meat, right? He's tall, skinny. And he's just made up his mind that he wants to look like that. And that one day, he's going to be on the cover of Muscle and Fitness magazine. Now, he has a desire, right? He has the desire. We all have desires. Thanks. But now, he's got to do something. Right? So that's the part that a lot of us don't like, right? We have desires. So many desires. So many of us desire so many different things. But then when we start to look at our desire and see that we're going to have to actually do something about it, and then what happens to our desires, we start to look at them as more of a demand. Mitchell has a desire, right? He realizes now he has the desire. Now he has to do something about it, right? So Mitchell's going to do something about it, okay? So he starts to lift those five-pound weights. Go, Mitchell! You got this, Mitchell! You can do it, Mitchell! Mitchell, just five more, Mitchell. One, five, five more, two, three, four, five. All right. Woo! So Mitchell, he has the desire, and he just did something about it, right? But what's going to happen in two weeks? He's lifting five-pound weights. Is he going to see results? No. He's not going to see results from lifting five-pound weights if he's doing, like, ten reps and for two weeks like that's nothing right and then doubt kind of sets in right then he's like man it's not working see so many of us want to approach our desires with minimum requirements and guess what you're going to get when you approach your desires with minimum requirements you're going to get minimum results now he has a choice he can either give up and say oh no that means I'm not getting results doing this, so that means I got to put in some more work. He can do that, or he can say, you know what? It's not working. We got to take it up a notch. So then he's going to get those 30-pound weights. So now he realizes that he's not going to get maximum results with the minimum requirements, those little five-pound weights, right? He's not getting any results from that, so he's got to take it up a notch, right? So now he starts to lift these 30-pound weights. Pump it. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> Bump it. <laughs> Look at that face. Look. What's happening? Look at those veins. I see some veins popping out. The face is turning red. What's happening now? He's got to do what? He's got to work for it, right? He's got to work to get those weights up. Those five-pound weights, he can throw them over his shoulder, do whatever. But these 30-pound weights, he's got to work for it. He's turning red. He's going to start sweating, right? Hard work. But what's going to happen in two weeks? He's going to see gains, right? He's going to see some results. And then what happens when you start to see results? You get excited then, right? It kind of gives you that drive. You're like, man, if I put in this work, I'm going to see, I'm going to see results. So Mitchell... He realizes now, putting in that work, it's going to get him results, right? Two weeks goes by, and he starts to see gains. And maybe then he has to take it up even another notch, right? If he wants to look like that guy, he's going to have to take it up quite a few notches. He's going to obviously do more than that. But, you know, he's going to start to see results. 